We're going to try to sell these three products on Etsy and I'm going to show you the first week of sales. We're going to go from building and making the product to listing the product and I'm going to show you the results on how they perform on the market. Now I'm the owner of TagPop, one of the largest pet product stores on Etsy and I decided to open up a new Etsy shop and these listings are going to go on that new Etsy shop. Now if you're interested on exactly how I opened up this Etsy shop, the link is in the description. It's a free course on exactly what I did when I opened up this exact shop and you have a chance to follow me on this journey now without any further ado let's get started on the door hanger so this is a scroll saw you can technically do this whole reef with just a scroll saw if you're good at it now i'm going to be using a co2 laser for all the personalizations now I bought this from, from a pawn shop, $65 right there. Why I bought this is it's gonna make me cutting circles very efficient. So I need to build a little jig for this. I already built one. So I added a little nail in here. Well, it's more like a screw that I shaved off and it's going to be the access point to allowing our board to spin. So let's go ahead and cut out our first piece. All right, so we need an 18 inch board. We're gonna cut it and then we're gonna smack it in the middle that will allow us to pivot on the axis point cutting out the 18 inch circle. Now we want that deck style look on the background of the board. So we're gonna use our CO2 laser to cut out the slits to give it that look. All right, so we cut this out, look at that. Now we're not actually gonna take them out yet. We're actually gonna glue this on directly. Now, while that's curing, let's go ahead and take some photos of these bottle openers. Now, I bought these bottle openers on Amazon. They're very inexpensive. If it starts to scale, I'll probably look into Alibaba. Now, we're going to Photoshop the engraving on it post. I don't want to waste my time on engraving it right now, nor do I want to waste the inventory. We're going to take these on a plain white background and use AI to replace that white background with something a little bit more interesting. So, my photo station is pretty simple. I only use a white background. I just tape it up a couple lights and that should be good the images and the video quality turns out pretty impressive all you need is just a little bit of light all right so we are going to be using uh, a zmo.ai once you've uploaded an image you go on backgrounds and it'll actually generate a background for these using the shadows and all the things that will interact with the background a lot of these ai tools they're not really good about shadows and interacting with the background this one is anyways what we're going to do is uh it once it uploads it gives you all these options uh, and all of this right here is pretty much you're creating a prompt. Prompt is essentially if you go on ChatGPT, you're asking it something, that's a prompt. Now you can ask it 10 different things to get a more specific answer. And so this way it kind of like pre-written prompt. So what we're going to do once we, uh, I really liked the white sunshine. Look at this. This is impressive. Look at this. This is great. It's a little bit not fully uh, accurate as far as its lighting. So I'm gonna download this and I might, again, I might Photoshop this after, but this is much better Photoshop than what we see on Etsy being used. Then of course I edit the personalizations, created the listings and the listing is ready to go. Now, while I do photography, I also take a couple of videos. It doesn't take that much, but it changes the listings potential tremendously. Now the door hanger is finished curing. So let's get back to the reef. One failed thing that I did is I glued this on the backside, which means we wanna make sure we don't screw it up. So I'm gonna do this kind of freehand. So we kind of broke this little the little guy. So we're going to have to fit, replace it and keep going. All right. So it turns out I don't have any blades. So I ordered some on Amazon. Should come tomorrow. And now we're going to continue on the box. Now I've done them before. So here's some videos and me talking over it on how I did the box. So the first thing we do is take off the packaging of the acrylic because we don't want to do this on every single letter. Then I apply a double-sided tape on the back side. This will allow each letter to be like a sticker and not having to put glue on each letter. Now I make sure with the CO2 machine, I cut out the box around it. This will act as a guide when I'm sticking them onto the box. And this will make it look exactly like we had it on the computer. And once I remove the guide, it looks amazing. Now we're gonna make a few more because we are trying to target bridesmaids gifts and usually they're bought in more than one quantity. And just like the bottle openers, I took some photos, made some videos and created that listing. Turned out amazing. Now I got my blades. Let's go ahead and finish our door hanger and get that posted. The circle turned out pretty good and I'm happy with how it's turning out. And then let's go ahead and color this thing because we do want it white and let's cut out the pieces on the CO2 machine, get all the letters out. Now I covered it with dark stain. I find that dark stain is a lot easier to work with than black paint. I 
I've attached all the elements and there you go. Then let's attach the rope on the back side with some staples and it's ready to go. Boom, we're done. Look at that, that's not bad at all. We're gonna try to sell it. But one thing I forgot to tell you is I made another one. And I made it in this color. Now what we're gonna do, take some photos and post these, see how they do. Now, since I didn't want to waste material, I made this for my sister-in-law. She was also the model and it turned out great. She loved it. Why not make someone happy while you're at it? All right, guys, these are one week report. The boxes have been on Etsy for about three weeks. The bottle openers for just a little over a week. Now, the door hanger has been for a week and I'm going to show you the results right now. Now, I quickly wanted to brag about this new Etsy shop. It's already generated $400 in sales. And it's only been three weeks since it's been open. It started in September and today's October 9th. And this is a brand new Etsy shop and it's generating some serious numbers. So guys, after watching this video, check out the link on how I opened up this Etsy shop so you can get started on building your Etsy business. It's completely free. So check it out. No harm, no foul. Now, here's the thing. Let's go on the first one and that's the door hanger. Now, the door hangers didn't do anything yet. Maybe because it hasn't been, because it's a Christmas door hanger and maybe just not yet on those seasonal things. And so I think I expect it to pick up a little bit more, no favors. And that's the first thing I look at is do the favors start to show growth. I'm looking at those favors. And if it shows favors, that's when I know how to advertise. Next one is the boxes. Now the boxes, I did get a sale of four items and I got $60, which was great. This is one sale, four items, great, great stuff. What happens with this one is it gave me the initial boost of traffic. Look at that, boom, traffic, and then it consolidates and it didn't go down, which tells me that, hey, there's great potential and that's the one I'm going to advertise. And look at that, it is showing me some good consolidation. It gave me some favors, two of them exact. This box has been around for about three weeks, which is, it's showing me some good stuff. It's generating some sales. Now the bottle openers, it's showing me some promise. It's still not going as much as I would like to, maybe because this product is not fundamental like the boxes. Boxes, you have to get a box if you wanna get a bridesmaid's gift, but a bottle openers is just maybe bottle openers or candles. It's just one of those things. Now, I'm not gonna give up on the bottle openers. I'm actually gonna be posting these on the next video. I'm gonna show you the process on how I make this. This is for my CNC machine that sews this stuff around. So subscribe if you wanna know exactly how I built the process. And I'm gonna add some more products to this new Etsy shop. So subscribe, and again, check out the link to join me on the journey.